So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grey Zombies. Welcome to 2018. And today we're talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. That's right. We're talking about the zombies portion. You know, everyone says April 21st, National Drug Test Day. Well, I gotta say, January 1st is National Relapse Day. And today we're relapsing on some Black Ops 3 zombies. That's right. Drop a like on this video if you go on to learn something. Subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter. Acra is violent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. With the final Reich just not having any endgame content, I gotta say World War II Zombies is becoming a little dry for my channel. So I'm gonna try, test this out, shoot it out in the water. Hopefully you guys like Black Ops 4 Zombies information and the storyline and where we're at currently because I got a lot, a lot to say, man. I know the storyline in and out and I feel with 2018 now approaching, it's a perfect time to start talking some Treyarch Zombies. So where are we today? Well, if you haven't already seen, there was a winter event that happened in Black Ops 3. Importantly, a contract that the community had to complete. We got a lot of multiplayer loot that you can throw down, and I'm going to be throwing that down in the gameplay today. But towards the end of this, we're going to really be diving into Mob of the Dead, so you want to stick around for the entirety of the video. Now, I don't really care about what drops I got, because I'm a Zombies player, and the multiplayer section just makes me furious. So I'm not a fan of the multiplayer here in Black Ops 3. In the same, I could say the same exactly about Infinite Warfare Zombies. The multiplayer just didn't click for me. It wasn't my jammy jam. World War II, that is a multiplayer I can play. And it's very multiplayer driven. And I see why. Zombies definitely fell short. And that's why we're here today talking about Black Ops 4 Zombies. It's time. The main achievement for Revelations was called For the Good of All and a better tomorrow. Now when I think of what that means, it means that they're playing a fraction of the storyline. They're not the main key element. There is a master Richtofen at play, and our Black Ops 3 Richtofen is the closest Richtofen to that master Richtofen that we know of. And this is very important. If you don't understand this fact, that the Black Ops 3 Richtofen is the biggest key factor for our Master Richtofen, then some of this is going to be hard to understand, but don't worry. We have a visual representation that I'm going to be showing you towards the end of this video. We will get to that point, but you need to understand that fact. The next thing we need to take a look at and understand is the blood vials. The blood vials are very important. They're from dimensions that have been erased. They're permanently gone, however the blood still remains. When that occurs, there are fractions that make people invincible. However, through research that Richtofen's made in the Cronorium, he's found out that it needs to be in the bloodstream. That's why he's taking cursed blood, and we call it cursed blood because only the cursed survive. If your blood is infected with cursed blood, then you may have the ability to survive even all of the dimensions being erased and set back to normal. So you would survive a reset happening. Interesting enough, we've seen the ending to one version of the universe and how it could potentially end. That's why we got an ending with Richthofen becoming premise. They survived that certain scenario. However, there is another scenario at play, and that is the Master Richthofen interjecting into the life of Black Ops 3 and when those events occurred, because he needed to also acquire dirty blood, cursed blood, and that is of the transit crew and when that occurs. So that is an entirely different scenario, but it's explained in the comic and visually represented, and that's what's very cool about us explaining where we're going from the comic to Mob of the Dead, because that is originally where the storyline is destined to occur. That's why I believe Mob of the Dead will be the first map, the launch map with Black Ops 4 herein, and therefore possibly the DLC bonus map like the Giant for Black Ops 3. But we have a series of O4 characters, that being the Transit crew, the original crew, which is the Ultimus characters. We have the Premise characters, that was the very ending highlight of the Black Ops 3 Revelations cutscene. Those are the Premise characters. Then we have the Black Ops 3 characters that become Premise. We find out that that's actually who Premise is. We consider them an O4 as well. So we'll consider those in the same group because we found out that those are the actual guys that do become premise through a reset because of the cursed blood. But our Black Ops 3 Richtofen does have some pull here. I find it quite interesting that he as well as acquired cursed blood from Mob of the Dead. And this is leaving a new gap because the Master Richtofen acquires the transit character's blood 
which in a universe in a dimension that's been erased is considered cursed blood as well. So we have these two types of Richtofens surviving. But we do know the ending of what happens when they become premise. It's quite shocking. They don't expect themselves to be the premise characters, but they end up turning out to be. That's where Monty put them. But that's also where the Black Ops 3 rituals come into play with the achievements. For the good of all, and for a better tomorrow. The Black Ops 3 Richtofen knows his purpose. He has met the Master Richtofen. He knows the grand plan, I believe, of overthrowing Dr. Monty. That's what we're going to see in Black Ops 4. But, our Black Ops 3 Richtofen knows the plan. He's been informed by this Master Richtofen what his purpose is and what he needs to do. That's why he's different and more defiant compared to the characters we know with Tank Dempsey, Nikolai Belinsky, and Takiao. They are confused as to why Richtofen is so defiant. This is that reason. The whole time, we've been thinking that we were talking about Dr. Maxis. Maxis was nothing more than a tool in the engine that's been turning this entire time. He was a guinea pig. He was just a scientist that helped Richtofen. The big play here, where Richtofen is actually speaking about this other source, it's the Master Richtofen that he's talking about, that's above him orchestrating these entire events to make Monty believe this is the final version of Richtofen. He doesn't know about this Master Richtofen that might overthrow him. So let's meet this Master Richtofen by taking a look at the very end of comic number six. Shout out to Dark Horse Comics. A link to their actual comic will be in the description box below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase that for yourselves. This is going to be a teaser, educational purposes. Have you come to a decision yet? We have. That is what Misty says. And that is the Master Richtofen and what he looks like. As you know, Richtofen's offered them salvation throughout this entire journey. And they've pretty much had no choice but to listen to the voices in Stulinger's head. They believe this is the process of being saved. The Master Richtofen is grateful. Wunderbar. And then he shows them these chambers. Take a look at these chambers. This is what he says. These are suspension devices. They will keep you in a kind of stasis until the final world arrives. What does that mean? We've seen these in Derizendrak. These are suspension devices. I believe the very front suspension device is containing Sal DeLuca from Mob of the Dead. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It looks a lot like him and it's the only one that's horizontally across the ground. The rest are vertical chambers. Misty says, we're trusting you, where Richtofen goes on to respond, I shall try to be worthy of that trust. They enter the chambers, and this is when the moment of Zetsubu no Shima happens. Remember at the end of the Easter egg, there was that weird teleport sequence? This is that moment. Great, another you. That's what we need, Richtofen. And then we see the moment where our Black Ops 3 Richtofen meets the Grand Master Richtofen. And he's rewarded with the Transit Blood. That is where our Black Ops 3 characters got the extra blood vials for all of the remaining characters, Tank, Dempsey, and Nikolai. That's how they got their blood. And yet, the Master Richtofen is still in possession of the Transit characters. Where we're left with one last image from Jason Blundell. And that is the new and improved Mob of the Dead image. The right picture has been ripped apart, and this is factual. This is actually the last image in comic book number six that you guys can actually purchase in the description box below. But this in particular is a very interesting image of the blood vials, Mob of the Dead, the suspension devices, and our Black Ops 3 Richtofen teleporting in. Let me know what you guys think of this image, but this is the last image we got and the last hint we got from Treyarch as to what's coming next in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now this might be called World at War 2 Zombies. There hasn't really been a solid hint at all about what the title's gonna be. Everyone's scrambling right now over this bowl of Lucky Charms that David Vonderhaar tweeted out. Let me know if you guys see something hidden in this mix. I don't quite yet. It might be Black Ops 4 hidden in there between the marshmallows a little bit. I don't know. But that's all we got right now on this Happy New Year's. And I wanted to bless you guys with some serious Mob of the Dead information as we move from the comic of number six into Mob of the Dead, hopefully for the launch map in Black Ops 4. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want Mob of the Dead to be the launch map for Black Ops 4 Zombies? And do you like what I'm doing with the storyline videos leading in to Treyarch's next title? Let me know if this is something I should continue on in the future. I'll see you in the next one though. Violent out.